Hey everyone, Zach here, and welcome to Lesson 84 of this RTS tutorial series. In this video, we will set up the calculation that will do our overall unit happiness. Like the last video, we're only doing one thing, so I have not put in any uh, timestamps in the description. I'll be resuming that in the next video. Also, like last week's video, this one will be rather short. All of that said, fire up your editor, and let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to the editor, and we have another short video this, uh, well, Tuesday instead of Monday, where we're going to set up our unit happiness level, and this is going to be another meta statistic, however, this one's going to be simpler than all the rest, so go into your blueprints, go into your AI, and open up your AI controller, and we do not need our set job satisfaction or increase fear. What we're going to do is we're going to start with our function which will be our set happiness. Don't you wish you could just set your happiness? All right, sorry for the bad joke. So it will be in a category called status. Subcategory will be happiness. And like usual, we're going to grab our unit reference, and I'm going to pull off of this all of our stats. In fact, what we'll do is we'll get status or get unit stats. And we're just going to use our current stats to calculate our overall happiness. And we're going to take every stat except for our, well, resilience here and the happiness itself. And we're going to use these to create a single statistic. So we're going to take proportions of each of these. Remember, proportions range 0 to 1. So we want to think about percentages. Sorry about that. Multiply the numbers I'm using by 100. So, start with our current health. We're going to start with what will positively increase our happiness. And so, health will be one of those. So, we're going to take that, and we are going to do float, multiply by float. And we're going to multiply this. So, our current health will be 25% of our overall happiness. So, we're going to use 0 0.25. Let's take the next one that will positively increase our happiness metric. So we're going to have crossing pins in this, unfortunately, crossing wires, which will be job satisfaction. In fact, job satisfaction will also be 25. So I'm just going to duplicate that uh, float times float up there and plug that into there. And next, we're going to add these two together because we want to take the ones that positively work together and add them up. There we go. And we'll leave that for a moment. Let's just line that up. We're going to take our fatigue, and our fatigue will subtract from our happiness. But again, we're going to make this a proportion of our overall happiness. So we're going to do float, multiply by float. Everything is going to be float, multiply by float at this stage. And this will represent 12.5% of our overall happiness. So we'll use 0 0.125 for that. The next one we'll use is our hunger which will also represent 12.5%. So for those of you doing the math at home, that is now 75% of our overall happiness right here. The last 25%, so we're going to copy one of these nodes, will come from our fear. So that 75%, or sorry, that 50% of our stat comes from positive things and 50% comes from these negative aspects. And we're going to take these three, and we're going to add them together. So the three negative ones. So we get two different sum totals at the end of this. So we have the positive sum total here and the negative sum total. Now, these are subtotals, so I shouldn't say sum total, but the subgroups total. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two values, and we're going to subtract from the positive total here our... Sorry, I just want that all to line up our negative influencers. So if the negative influencers are greater than the positive influencers, then our happiness will go down. If however, our if however our positive is greater than our negative, then the happiness will go up. If they cancel each other out, the happiness will not change. So we're going to take this amount 
And instead of having another pin crossing, I'm just going to grab, you don't have to do it this way, by the way. You could just grab off the happiness there. I am going to take our current unit, and I'm going to get the happiness. Get the happiness. I wish that was possible, to get the happiness. And I'm going to add the result of this math here into what we currently have as our happiness. So if this is a negative number, in other words, if these three are greater than these two, this will be a negative number, we'll decrease our happiness. If these two, if these two are greater than these three, this will be a positive number and we'll increase our happiness. Now, we don't have to do this next bit, but I like doing it. I like dividing this by 60. Just because all the other things are divided by 60, it helps make the numbers change a little bit more slowly, it represents over that hour. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure we don't go above zero, sorry, above one or below zero. So we're gonna clamp this value, so clamp float, at a range of zero to one. And then I'm gonna grab another unit reference. Again, I could just all pull from this one or this one. I just don't want to have as many crossing pins. And I'm going to set happiness. All right. Now let's plug our set. Ha Actually, I'm going to take all of this now minus our set happiness. I'm just going to move it down a tiny bit. I'm going to plug the set into the input pin there. And move this down here. And now the return value is going to go into our happiness there. It is not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. And at this point, just for debugging, even though we already have it in our UI from the last episode, I'm going to duplicate my unit reference pin. I'm going to get happiness. And I'm going to do a print string. And I'm going to delete this print string by the end of the episode, or the video. I don't know why I said episode. There we go. Now, as usual, we need to call this function up. So I'm just going to copy the name real quick, go into my event graph, and I'm gonna move all this just up this way so I have a bit more room to play with and move it out a bit too. And off this then four, I'm going to set timer by function name. And our function will be of course our set happiness. It will be looping and again, we'll use the set timer speed there so that we are setting our happiness based on a proportion calculated in based on our um, game speed. All right, now we can test it out. We have our one unit. Actually, before we test it out, I'm gonna just jump over to my unit real quick because I can't remember where we left our unit's base stats at. So let's open up our stats here. Our current health is 100, so we should be increasing. See what our happiness is defaulted at to 0.75, so 75%. I'm gonna change this to 50%, so 0.5, and drop satisfactions there. All right, so it should go up when we hit play. So let's hit play. Let's find our unit. There it is, let's just move them around a little bit. We can see it's at 0.428 right now, 0.428. So it's going up very, ooh, it's actually going down. Well, okay. I'd imagine that should be going up, but instead we are going down, it looks like. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our, I'm just going to this other window. We're going to go back into here. We're going to pop open this. We're going to add a breakpoint here real quick. What I want to do is I want to step, we don't need to see this part, step through here, see what this value is. So it's 25. This is a negative number. So we should be ending up with 25. That's going up to 25, we then divide that. It should be going up. I'm not sure why it's going down. The return value is 0.42. Let's hit resume. Get through this again. Step through all of this. Point four two six. hit resume. Step through again. Point four two three. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm closing that out and I'm canceling that for a minute. And let's see what's going on here that might be causing that issue. Just want to make sure I've done the math correctly here. 
So we're taking our fatigue. So I should just check that I don't have fatigue set to a number I'm not recognizing. Hunger, fear. It should be going up, but it should be going up slower over time because we're gaining hunger and fatigue. And we're also probably losing job satisfaction a bit too. So it should be going up, but going up more slowly. All right, let's test it one more time. Let's set the unit to do a job real quick and just make sure that everything is moving correctly. So it's 0 0.42 right now. Still 0.42, but it is increasing. All right, it was just because we didn't have them doing a job, it was going down, which is fair enough, actually. So let's take a look at Sue here. Job satisfaction is going up. We can see it's 0.427. I started at much lower. Now we're going down to point. Now it's going back down. So one thing we can do to change the math up a bit is we can break this. And we're going to just move this pin along slightly. And what we'll do, which I didn't mean to remove that minus part, is we'll add in our current happiness at this stage. And then plug that into here. This should help actually make this a little bit more of a balanced system just by changing our order of operations around a tiny bit. So let's send them over there. And it is increasing again. And it's increasing at a slightly better rate, which is what we're looking for. Okay, so now that we're increasing at that slightly better rate, we'll leave this new math setup as is. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test to see if we can decrease our happiness. We'll lower our health to one. We'll increase our fatigue to 75, our hunger to 75, and set our fear, ooh, sorry, not 75 here, 0.75. Otherwise we'd be way over our maxes, 0.75 there, and our fear to 0.4. All right, hit play. Let's release this unit. If I can actually get this thing to work. There we go. Ah! Well, he's getting back into the building before I can release him. But you can see his happiness has decreased rapidly due to this. So we... Let's assess this in another way real quick. Let's up the health back to 100. And to make this a little bit easier... I'm just going to take the unit. I'm going to move him over this way. Just so I have a little bit more room to play with before he runs into the building. There we go. All right. 0 0.422. 0 0.420. So we can see that we can decrease our happiness as well. All right. So that takes care of what we need to do. I'm just going to go back into, our into here. Delete all of this. Add in a return node. And go back to our unit master, and I'm going to just set our stats to some default levels. So our current health at 100, current armor. Let's now up that to 100 as well, just so we have that already there. Our fatigue will set to zero. Our hunger will set to zero. Same with our fear. We'll default our job satisfaction to start at 0.5, so we'll leave it there. Our happiness, we'll leave at 0.5 as well. And our resilience, we calculate elsewhere. All right, so that takes us through what we need to do for this episode. Now what we're going to do in later episodes is we're going to take a calculation based on our job satisfaction and we'll see, or sorry, our happiness here and see what they'll do. We'll have it probably right over here. And so happiness will determine if they listen to our commands or if they jump over and just do whatever they want based on their unit tree. We'll use our job satisfaction to do the same thing as well. All right. That said, if you've enjoyed this episode, I know it's been a little bit of a brief episode. And again, apologies about getting the delay on this video. But if you've enjoyed this video or this series, hit that like button down below. It really does help this channel out. And if you want to know when our videos are out, where we'll take care of all the other little bits in our game. 
such as setting up everything else that we need, go ahead and hit that subscribe and notify icon so you know when the next video is out. I'm not sure why the car drove there, but okay. You can both walk that way now. And if you want to help support the channel even further, consider becoming a supporter on Patreon. All right, all of that said, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.